Hi, and welcome to today's episode of Did You Know? My name is Cheryl Collins, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Auto Repair Reference Center. The Auto Repair Reference Center has access to repair information for over 35,000 cars dating back to 1954. Let's take a closer look. After logging into the Auto Repair Reference Center, this is, it's going to bring you to the database's home page. And the primary, primary focus of this database is to find auto repair information for your particular make and model of your car. And you can see here that there's a very simple pull-down menu to choose the year, make, and model of the car you're interested in. There are other features of the database as well that we'll click into after. You can see them down here on the bottom. And they're also up here in text version up on the top. So we'll take a closer look at those in a minute. Getting into the primary um, focus of this database, um, we'll just select a car. You can see that the years do go back quite a ways. Um, this will scroll down. It just goes beyond my screen there. So we'll choose 2006. All the, year, all the makes, models that were made in the year 2006 will come up in this particular menu, so we'll choose Honda. And then the models also are uh, specific to the make of the car, so the, all the Honda models that are there um, do come up. So we'll choose the CRV. And then once you're into uh, the make and model of your car, it'll also bring up the submodels, uh, if applicable. So here we've got the LX, SE, and the EX models of the car. So once you click Select, it'll take you into the specific information uh, that is available for your car. And you can see it, it narrows it out or it broadens it out into these specific um, categories of repair. Repair information, some bulletins um, that might be for technical services on your car. Wiring diagrams, which is kind of a unique feature for this database. Also maintenance intervals, it'll give you a full list of scheduled um, maintenance needs uh, for your car, things like oil changes, tire rotations, and things like that. Also some specifications for your car, labor times, and then of course diagnostic information. So just to get into something basic to show you what it does, um, you click on repair information and then it brings it out into this index-based searching capability here on the side. So it starts off with some very general precautions, but then it breaks it down into the different categories uh, having to do with repair for your car. So um, looking at brakes, um, brings it out into general brake information and then parking brake information. And 16 subcategories within that category and your need should be, hopefully will be in one of these uh, subcategories here. So again, we'll take a look at brake hose replacement and clicking on that link will bring us to uh, the full text of the information that you need to hopefully uh, repair your brake hose or replace your brake hose. And you can see that most of the, um, most of the pages do in include diagrams whenever applicable. Um, you can go through the various steps into replacing your brake hose. And then also up at the top, there is a PDF version available. So if you click on that download PDF uh, link right on the top of the page, it opens it up into an Adobe file, uh, which is very simple to print from there. And that's where a lot of the folks um, who are using this database find the strength is that you can take the just the pages you need and, and print those and not have to worry about um, photocopying from the big large books we have. So again, these are all the categories that are available for repair information within your car. Um, your make and model information remains at the top. There is an option to change vehicle as well. So if you wanted to look up um, your husband or wife's car, you have that opportunity to bring you right back uh, to this home screen and start, start again. One of the features that is unique to this database, again, and, and it is a unique database in and of itself, but this auto IQ on the bottom is a graphic representation of your car or a car. And what you can do is hover over um, things like the engine, get my mouse back, hover over things like the engine and click. You can see you're, you're navigating here and it brings up these 
uh, links over here on the right and you can click on those and it gives you um, a couple different options when looking at the the car itself and some things you can look at so it's uh, as I said if you have no car knowledge much like myself um, this is helpful in understanding the different components of your car so that is, is kind of a learning tool as well uh, car repair and tips clicking in here is, is um, one of the features in this database that is not unique necessarily to your car these are just um, general ideas and t general tips for car repair and maintenance um, and general suggestions for different uh, components of your car so again sticking with the brakes brings out different subcategories within those um, within the category of brakes and just different basic things you should know about your braking system the page scrolls are here on the right it also again provides some um, graphics if applicable and some pictures live pictures as well not just diagrams but again things you can you should consider you you know certainly um, gain some knowledge in scrolling through these pages and having to do with just general repair and general maintenance on your car again these aren't specific to any particular make and model but it just gives you some ideas to as to some of the things that are available uh, another one of the features of this particular car repair database is this troubleshooting guide over here and this is more of an in-depth look at some basic troubleshooting on your car so again the original components of the database are over here in terms of engine repair brake systems climate control and things like that clicking on them again will bring you into this basic layout um, where your page scrolls are over here on the right and different things different problems you may encounter with your car um, and things you might want to consider before taking it to a repair or maybe looking further deeper into this database and getting the repair information yourself so certainly things to consider um, when you're troubleshooting a sound or a rattle in your car certainly something to consider when you're um, when you're trying to troubleshoot by yourself so again those are the it's a very simple database to use as I said there's not many um, options up top but they do take you to very specific um, tips and tricks that you should you should consider when um, looking at car repair information thank you for watching today's episode of did you know as always if you have any questions feel free to give us a call at the reference desk 860-763-7511 or you can email me directly at cbcollins at enfield.org thank you for watching <laughs>